Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you how to add a file or a folder to the exclusion list on Windows Defender for Windows 10. Now this is a very simple process and you might want to add a file or a folder to exclusion if it is that whenever you try to use a file or use any item in that folder Windows Defender is preventing you from doing so and it's picking up that file or folder as being harmful to your computer. So you start this process by clicking on your start menu and you can start typing Windows Defender. Once the option starts populating, you click on Virus and Threat Protection. Once that window opens, you scroll down to Manage Settings. You click on Manage Settings and you go all the way down to the Exclusion heading where you are going to click on the only option that is there which says Add or Remove Exclusions. Once that opens up, you click on the Add an Exclusion option. Now we want to select the type of item that we're going to add. If you're adding a file, you would select the file option. If you're adding a folder, you select the folder option. You also have additional options, which is file type as well as process. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to be adding a folder. So I select the folder option. Now I need to locate the folder that I want to add. So say for example, this folder is located in my documents. I click on my documents over here and I now need to select the folder that I want to add. So I click on the folder and I go to the select folder option and there the folder has now been added to the exclusion list. So going forward I will encounter no issues whenever it is I try to use any file that is located in that folder because it has been whitelisted. If it is that in future, I no longer need to use that file or folder or program, I can always remove it from the exclusion list. And by doing so, you locate the file in the exclusion list. By hovering over it, you will see the drop down menu. You click on that and you select remove. So there, that file has been removed from my exclusion list. So guys, yes, that is how you add a file to exclusion on Windows 10. Once it is that you do so, you will encounter no issues and you will be able to use your software, your game, whatever it is that Windows Defender was preventing you from running in the first place. If it is that you found this video helpful, you can give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and you can subscribe to the channel for more videos. Thank you.